Today we're going to learn how to program an outside cut on the CNC using the Mill and Conrad feature. Let's talk about it. We have the stock properly in the vise, zeroed at the top right, and the part drawing also has its origin at the top right. We will begin the program off the part, going around clockwise to climb mill around the quarter inch radiuses, coming to the last radius to then come off the part to ensure a continuous cut and nice finish. This is the digital readout screen. As you can see, I can adjust each axis individually and the numbers change respectively. Next is the programming screen by pressing mode and program. Event 0 is the name of the part. Event 1 is where you will begin to start programming. All the features listed here can make up all possible geometries. Today we'll be doing the mill feature with an included Conrad, but overall to create a CNC program we define a series of continuous events that define how the mill moves. So to start, let's create our first event. Every event requires a set of parameters, including desired position, Conrad, tool radius, feed rate, and others. All geometric information is provided by your drawing. All non-geometric parameters should be provided by Mr. Nelson or other shop machinists. Our first event is this right straight line along the drawing. We will start off the part at positive 0.5 in the Y moving along the negative y direction to negative 3.5. Note this line is along the x-axis. We will add our corner radius of 0.25 using the Conrad feature. This feature can only be used between two line segments. Also we'll be using a left tool offset to climb mill for a nice finish. So we'll begin by starting a mill event beginning at zero for the X point, and then we'll be going to positive 0.5 for the Y, ending still at zero in the X, and ending at negative 3.5 in the Y, using a Conrad of 0.25 for our radius, with a left tool offset, so number two. We got our feed rate from the machinist for, as two, with our tool number as 1, with a diameter of 0.5. We want to continue, so we want to press 1, and we want to continue to mill for the bottom line. But right now we can look and see the line. It does not have a radius until we add the second line. So to continue milling, we'll add this bottom point, which is negative 3.5 in the X, and the same, oh, negative 3.5 in the X, and the same for the Y. With our Conrad still at 0.25, we still want to continue. And now you can see the radius. Now we have the CNC mill programmed with a continuous cut and will need to be tested. So we're going to run the program just above the part so we know we're continuously cutting material. First we need to fold our handles in. To run the program we'll press mode and run. And then start. It'll ask us to press go to continue and load the right tooling. It will then go to the start position and ask us to set the Z. And then we can press go. Now 
Now that we've run the program on top of the part, we're ready to set the z-axis and start the program. So we have our handles collapsed in, and we can start the program by pressing mode, run, start and go. We've loaded the right tool, press go, it moves to the starting position. We can now set the z-axis. A good rule of thumb is you can cut half the diameter of the mill bit. So there's half the diameter right there. 0.25. We've set the z. We can now turn on the machine and press go. So we have to ensure that the tool bit is cool. So we're using some Cool Mist Formula 77.